Blade fuses, also called spade or plug-in fuses, with a plastic body and two prongs that fit into sockets, are mostly used in automobiles. Other common usage is in equipment with comparatively simple, low-voltage DC electrical systems such towed campers and marine applications such as sailboats and motor boats, typically smaller cabin cruisers. Each fuse is printed with the rated current in amperes on the top. Blade fuses use a common coloring scheme for the Micro 2, Micro 3, low-profile LP Mini, Mini, and regular size fuses, and a partial color similarity with the maxi size fuses. How to test a fuse with a multimeter Connect the test lead according to your multimeter user manual. Turn the meter on and set it to measure continuity with audio signal. Before you test the fuse, put the positive and negative leads together and listen for the meter to beep to ensure it's working properly. Test the blade type fuse. Listen for the multimeter to beep continuously as you hold the test leads against the fuse. If you hear the beep continuously the fuse works properly. In my case, the fuse works properly. Test MIDI fuses. Listen for the multimeter to beep continuously as you hold the test leads against the fuse. If you hear the beep continuously the fuse works properly. In my case, the fuse works properly. Test glass tube type fuse. Listen for the multimeter to beep continuously as you hold the test leads against the fuse. If you hear the beep continuously the fuse works properly. In my case, the fuse works properly. Test the glow plug. Connect one multimeter test lead to the lower part of the glow plug. Connect the other lead to the terminal on the top of the glow plug. If you hear the beep continuously the glow plug works properly. In my case, the glow plug works properly. And now, I show you what happened if the measured fuse or glow plug is blown. If you don't hear any beep coming from the multimeter, then the fuse is blown and should be replaced. I will show you how to check fuse and glow plugs resistance. The formula for Ohm's law is on the picture. Connect the test leads according to your multimeter user manual. Turn the meter on and set it to measure resistance, omega symbol, ohm. Test the blade type fuse. Put the leads on either side of the fuse and check measured values. If you want to be sure, you can check the values from manufacturer catalog. In my case, 
the fuse, works properly. Test the MIDI type fuse. Put the leads, on either side of the fuse, and check, measured values. If you want to be sure, you can check, the values from manufacturer catalog. In my case, the fuse, works properly. Test the glass tube type fuse. In my case, the fuse, works properly. Test the glow plug. Connect one multimeter test lead, to the lower part of glow plug. Connect the other lead, to the terminal, on the top of the glow plug. Read the measured values, and if you want to be sure, you can check the values, from manufacturer catalog. And now, I show you, what happened if the measured fuse or glow plug is damaged. If you get, no value or, old symbol, then the fuse is blown. That's all now. Please, like and share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe to the Xander YouTube channel. Thanks.